we are going to speak about something that is short very precise and i believe this word will be speaking to us one by one in our spirits so that we can be able to know what we are supposed to do as children of the most high god hallelujah let us open the book of john chapter 14 i know that most of us we do know john 14 so much but i just want us to read firstly first 10 we'll come back to the beginning and everything about it but i want us now to read verse 10 chapter 14 verse 10 it says or it reads thus do you not believe that i am in the father and the father in me the words that i speak to you i do not speak on my own authority but the father who dwells in me does the works can i repeat it do you not believe that i am in the father and the father is in me the words that i speak to you i do not speak on my own authority but the father who dwells in me does the works let us pray father thank you for the holy spirit and thank you for your love thank you for your kindness your peace thank you for this word in jesus name amen hallelujah today i want us to go and speak about a very precise heading or word that i want you yourself to observe yourself the way god wants to observe you the way the spirit of the lord wants to observe you not the way we observe you where we have read jesus was speaking to his disciples saying hanchali dumeli do you not believe that i am in the father and the father again now is in me and everything that i am doing yes i am doing the words that i'm saying yes i am saying them but the father is the one who is saying these words through me in other words jesus was telling his disciples what i am uh something that god is using to relate messages unto you my disciples so that you may understand the things that are of the kingdom through me remember jesus came from heaven to come and die for you and me here on earth so that one day me and you we can be able to go to heaven isn't it so now jesus was explaining to his disciples saying for me to be here on earth it means that god is also here with me because he said i am in the father and the father is in me everything that i say it is the father who is saying them through me but telling you in other words between me and the father there is connection hallelujah can you tell the person that is close to you connection between me and the father in heaven there is connection there is somewhere where we meet where we are able to intermingle or to speak or to do things together and i felt later more when he ended there in the same verse that we have read he says but the father is the one who does the works papa ki ena wa ho dira mebereko na ke bolela fela na ke isa letso na ke araga na ke dia ingenge mara papa ena ki ena he is the one that is going to perfect or do whatever that he has told me that i must come to say unto you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
So in other words, when we are children of God, when we come into the house of God, there is some forces that is behind us. The power that pushes us to do what we are doing right now, to stand the way we stand, to walk the way we walk, to do things the way we do them. Why? Because he is in us. The Bible says those who are in Christ Jesus are new creatures. The old is past, the new has come. Now, more about the long one, I just saw what I have with our two of a high. Ori Nale Papaina, Remotomoti, or the Papa Mona, the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Now, everything that you are seeing me doing each and every day, healing the sick, providing to those that don't have food, delivering people who are demon possessed, delivering those who are oppressed, it is not me who is doing them, it is the Father who is in me, who does the works that you are seeing through your open eyes. Now, why am I saying these kind of words the way that I'm saying them today? I want us to look at Jesus as the author, as the finisher. Jesus as the beginner. Jesus as the ender. There is a verse that we are going to write, but I want you to write in your book, Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus came to earth. Jesus did not fasting. At a pillar, the Godima did not fasting. He came and lived the way they are living in heaven while he was still on earth with us, walking with us. Until one day, he came to sit with his disciples so that he can explain to them how or how are they supposed to live? Why? Because they are saying they also want to go to heaven. One day the disciple says, where we are going, we want to go also. I get it. Why? Because they were seeing the good things that Jesus was always doing. There is no tala. There are not all these kind of afflictions that we are meeting along the way or in our lives day by day. Why? Because Jesus is there. In other words, when Jesus is there, heaven is there. Can you tell the person that is close to you, when Jesus is there, heaven is there. Jesus said this words, I am the father are one. God has sent me to come to earth here. So that I can walk in the midst of you. But see, but see now, Taba ye iso. Mudi mo ha rumela jeso ori ate mo li fasing. Nanyo kori jeso ata abantwe la bariki example yari na. Can you tell the person that is close to you, example for us? So now, if now you and me, we are believing that Jesus was an example, do you think? Hallelujah. Do you think whatever you are doing, it's going hand in hand or going like the way, to the things that Jesus were doing while he was still on earth? The Bible says Jesus, early in the morning, he'll wake up, he'll go and pray. When he has finished waking the whole day, he will set himself apart, go and thank the Father for all the wonderful and good things he was doing in the midst of the lives of people during the afternoon. I get it? And then after that, he will pray, thank the Father, then he will come back to them. Now, the lifestyle here, Jesus, it was his lifestyle. So now the thing that we are missing today as Christians, we are living calling ourselves Christians, but we are not immaculating, trying to live the way Christ was living here on earth. In other words, what we have to do, we must be Christ-like. Can you tell the person that is close? You must be Christ-like.
If you are not Christ like you must be the same as Christ. When you do things is Christ doing them. When you speak is Christ speaking in you. When you say things is God saying them in you. When you walk is God walking through you. When you touch things is God touching them through you. Why? Because you are doing things the way Christ loved to do them. Our mistake and our problem as Christians is we are doing our things of Christianity these days following other path, not the path that Jesus has laid for us to follow. Hmm? Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is closer, are you following the path of Jesus? Are you following the way of Jesus? Are you doing things the way Jesus used to do them? Always when Jesus will be doing things, the Bible will always say he will be moved by compassion. When Jesus meets people who are sick, he will be moved by compassion. When Jesus sees people who are hungry, that need food to eat, he will feel pity of them so that if they can go, they can faint or fall along the way. It's better for him to do something so that they can be able to eat. Huh? If Jesus says so, so sees a lame woman or woman who is not able to walk, he feels pity and love on that person. And he feels that he has to heal that particular person. When Jesus meets a challenge, God appears into the challenge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you, when Jesus sees a challenge, God appears in the challenge. Why? Because of the verse that we have read. I am in him, he is in me. When he appears, God appears. When he does things, God is doing them. When he is talking, God is talking. Now Jesus has laid a foundation for us. Can you tell the person that is close to you, foundation? Just A foundation of how we can do all these things. Can we go to the book of Isaiah 48, 17? I'm not going to take much time. Thank you, Jesus. Can you ask the person that is close to you, do you think you are doing things the way God wants you to do them? Huh? Let us read the verse. Did you get it? 48, 17. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord, your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way you should go. Can I read it again? That says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord, your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way you should go. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what the Bible is telling us. I have said before, I want you to be able to follow what I'm trying to explain to you. Jesu Utile, he set an example for us so that we can be able to live Christianity while we are here on earth. Now Isaiah is saying, the Lord says, I am the Lord your God, your Redeemer, who teaches you how to profit. 
who teaches you how to do things who shows you how to do things you know there are so many things that we are doing today in our lives that we are doing them on our own self hmm? hallelujah there are so many things we are doing what on our own ability there are so many things that we are doing because of our own wisdom, our own understanding, our own knowledge. And the Bible says when you are a Christian, when you are a child of God, when you have decided to follow Christ, when you have decided to be a child of the Most High God, you don't do things according to your understanding. You don't do things according to your knowledge. You don't do things according to your wisdom. You don't do things according to the way of man. You do things because he is the one who teaches you how to do them. In other words, it means what you are doing and what I am doing can never be the same. If you are called to be a pastor, yes, you can preach the same verse, the same word, but you won't explain it the same way I am explaining it. Why? Because God himself is the one who teaches me what to say and how to say it. Now the problem is aki ashi putata bana ba bomma re na re nya kodi ya dilo tsa u tshona le tsa mang mang le mang mang And then you know all the and tota u tshona le tsa unity tsa moti mo tshona le to di thoma neng God is in heaven he is ready to help you and me, pastors. He is able to help you and me, children of God, so that we can conquer each and every day, every circumstance, every problem, every disease, whatever we meet, whatever we come across. Why? Because he is the one who initiated this thing called Christianity. You can never, never be able to do or conquer if Christ is not there in you. You can do it, yes. You can look like you're prospering, yes. You can look like you're making it, yes. But at the end of the road, let me tell you, you will stuck because Christ is not there. Yeah. Hallelujah. God is the one who teaches. God is the one who also teaches us to say the word. Do you know that? When you meet trouble, when you meet temptation, he is the one who teaches you to say them the way he wants you to say them. When they are scorning you, when they are laughing at you, when they are saying whatever they are saying about you, rejoice, be glad. Why? Because God is the one who will teach you what to do next. When things start to happen, we want to answer for our own selves. Christ, umo o papa, papa umo yena, papa o rekin na ki ruta. Can you tell the person that is close to you? God is the one who teaches. Teaches you how to profit. Teaches you how to prosper. Teaches you how to go on. Teaches you how to go up. Teaches you how to come down. Teaches you how to speak. Teaches you how to tell them. Teaches you how to intermingle with other people. You know, I've learned it many times when I'm at home sitting alone, I'll be meditating on whatever I'll be meditating upon. And I'll find out that you know, you can read the Bible 20 times, 30 times, but when it is not there, you will never understand it. It will be like a story, like a novel that you are reading, passing by, like a story of a home home that was written by a home home. But when he is there in you, when you sit down, when you go down and you open your Bible and when you open it, you find a verse. And when you start to read the verse, you hear the verse saying, it is me, God, who teaches you.
Can you ask the person that is close to you? Are you being taught by God? Or you are teaching yourself? You can teach yourself. But you want to go far. Huh? You can help yourself. But you want to go far. You can try to lift yourself. But you want to go far. When I to Wiki, Ratang, there is something that I love most very much about the kingdom of God. You know, God says he will never let us down. He will never let us go. He will be with us until the end of time. You know, no matter what, no matter what comes along my way, no matter disease that I come across, no matter problem that I come across, I know he's always there for me. He must just be leaving me for a little while. But what the Bible tells me is, he is the one who teaches me how to go out of that problem. If really God is the one who is teaching us, why are we failing a thousand and a million times? Why are we doing things the way people are doing them? Can you ask the person that is close? King is a way no way to shall move from wake a son. What is it that you are doing because you saw somebody doing it? Most of the time, I will ask myself these questions. If now I can try to be like Apostle, I'll speak about my husband. Like my husband, who is going to try to be like me? No, it's not a problem. I can try to be like him, but what about me? So that one day when I pass here on earth, my children, huh? but our mommy told us, our mommy explained these things to us. But now, what is it that we are doing? We focus on some people's things and we leave our own things. Yes, we are called by God, but we are focusing on how people are doing their things and we leave the way God wants to teach us to do our own things. If we can focus on what God has called us for, what God has healed us for, what God has given us that job for, what God has given us that business for, I'm telling you, we are going far. Why? Because Christ is always directing and leading us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is, do you think that Christ is working with you? He teaches us how to profit. All of us here, when we are here gathered in this house, we've got something that we are crying for. Huh? Can you ask the person that is close? What is it that you are crying for? Isn't it? Us again, what is it that you are crying for? Whatever that you are crying for today, God has an answer for it. God has an answer for it. I was speaking with a certain lady a certain time. I heard these people speaking about diseases and all these kind of things. But one day, I concluded myself. I will never say the Spirit told me. I concluded myself. I said, God, because you have loved us, is that everything is the same. If there is HIV, it means HIV is the same as flu. Because all of them brings malfunctioning in my body. And they are all called diseases, isn't it? So I said, God, if yesterday you were able to heal my flu, it means today you can also go forward and heal this HIV. The only thing 
thing that I want from you, God, is you to teach me how to take this HIV. The only thing that we are missing here is a how. Can you tell the person that is close to you, how are you going out of your problem? You need Christ. There is no problem on earth. There is no trouble on earth. There is no sickness on earth. There is no disease on earth. There is no affliction on earth. That is above the wisdom of God. If we can rely on God... God will teach us how to neglect and look away when we see problems coming our way and how to deal with them as they come closer to us. Something that I learned myself. You can pray. I'm not saying praying is wrong. And pray and pray and pray and nothing happens but the minute you say papa let your will be done i'm taking my hands off this thing you are the only one to deal with it you will see what god will do why because he has the answer of everything why does he has the answer to everything because he is the one who started christianity if una liko lo ya false vagen ana jo lo ha ba re nya ka service to isa ka a false vagen if una le bm to bmw you take your bmw way to bmw garage why because they know this car better so never plus sorry dear so you have a beautiful bmw you take to your bmw to boma to la jaji Number one, But those things they think they will help them. They will take them away local And then when your car will be looking beautiful and nice marakari. Itaba in the long run, within three months, Koloya o itaba ibuye la kwa abu matula jaji. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Now, Rinama Pulusa, we Christians, there is only one garage we can run to. The garage of the cross of Calvary. The garage that is called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The garage that is called heaven. The garage that is called the Holy Spirit. When you feel like things are not running your right way. When you feel like things are not doing the way you were thinking. When you feel like people are not accepting you the way you were thinking. Take everything to God and say, Papa Kicho. And how fetchori Papa Kicho way? Watch and see what God will do. I was with Daddy one day, and he said to me, There is something that I want to tell you. You must never say it, say it again, even a single day. I said to him, tell me, I will listen. He said, always, most of the time, when there is something that is disturbing you, there is only one word you will always say. The Bible says, whatever you reap, you shall. Whatever you sow, you shall reap. That's what I usually love to say. Then he said to me, you've said this when I told you about this. And you said this word again when I told you about this. And you said it again the third time when I was telling you about this. Now look at whom, 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 how difficult his life is because of what you said. I said, it's not me. He's busy reaping. Because he sowed. Now he is busy. When God is in you, our fetuli no maganjani. When Christ is in you, you don't do things no maganjani. 
When Christ is in you, you don't walk on normal ganjani. You watch where you are stepping. You watch what you are talking, what is coming out of your mouth. You watch whatever you are saying to somebody. Why? Because you know that you have been affiliated and you have been placed in the royal call of heaven. Eh? Watch out. Most Watch out the things that you are doing. Watch out the actions that you are taking. Why? Because it will be within three months you will be back to Matula Jaji Garage. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you? God is the one who teaches. Jesus is the one who initiated. And the Holy Spirit is there to guide. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. Jesus came on earth and initiated Christianity. Hmm? Atamaya, atamaya, Ramona, Ralivela, Sepila, Sepela, Sepela, Ramonanja, Sepila, Diamitola, Afodisha, Adia Jela, Lichela, Lichela, Jela, Radumel, eh, oh, Musomotimo. I can also follow this one. Then we get inside the car also and we start following him and following and following and following. And when we are following, this is what happens. God is the one who will come now. You need to turn right, then I turn right. You need to turn left, I turn left. You need to go straight forward, I go straight forward. Why? Because God is the one who will be teaching me what to do and what not to do. And the Bible went on and said, the Holy Spirit is the guide along this way. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, do you think you are on this way. I said to you, I won't take much long. I just want to speak this message to you. And we go and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we go and read in the book of John? Chapter 1. John chapter 1 verse 22 and 23. Let's read from 21. 21, 22, and 23. It's a race. And they asked him, What then are you? Are you Elijah? He said, I'm not. They were asking John. Are you the prophet? And he answered, No. Then they said to him, who are you that we may give an answer to those who sent us? What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of the one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord as the prophet Isaiah said hallelujah hallelujah did we hear the words that John said this man by his time or in his time he was famous always he was baptizing people in the Galilee and people were rushing to him but now they were supposing maybe he is the Messiah they've been told about who is coming. And they went to him to ask a question. Tell us, who are you? Can you ask the person that is close to you, who are you? Which shahape, who are you? Is it difficult? Thank you. Thank you, my son. But Shahape, who are you? 
Let me tell you a good explanation. I am Eunice, daughter of whom, whom, and whom, whom. Saved by the blood of Jesus. Washed by the blood of the Lamb. I'm going to heaven because God has saved me. I know who I am. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm coming up across is just some temptations along the way. But I know that God will make me to break through. Can you ask the person that is close to you? Who are you? When you ask somebody, who are you? People no longer know and understand and understand who they are. Majajia no repelang mo wana, but waba saipsi na or people are no longer proud of being Christians. You wanna it? Huh? Am I right? Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, who are you? Do you know why we are no longer proud of calling ourselves Christians? Because of the way we are living. The kind of lifestyle we are living. If you are a young man, 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 you are Eh? If you have a rebel, you have a demo. And then about this, I say, I'll swing and I say, see when. Satas are revru vayanan as a revru vayanan. All our was a pulusola, a kahumula maranchedi to chuang mom, lomo and mam root. But to batats and a kafasia matafool. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. These days that we are living in, it's said. They are the last days. And the Bible has said it and say, many, their love will grow cold. And now we can ask ourselves, what is it that will make our love to grow cold? The things that we are meeting each and every day in our lives, the challenges, the problems, whatever that we are coming across. Here is the man that was well known by then during his time. When people came to ask him, who are you? He denied every name they were coming with. And he said, I'm just a voice. I'm just somebody who's screaming. I'm just somebody who's trying to tell people that make way because Christ is coming. Make way because he's about to return. Make way because he's about to come back to earth. I go be a di tabacha au katsila ka oba ni Kristo we are buya I am that man today in you today today you have to make way whatever you are coming why because Christ is coming back Huh No no These are our lives that we are living these days today Richabela di tackle jarena Those who were here on Sunday, they had the talking. Where are the evangelists today? Eh? Where are the whom, whom, whom's today? They're not there. Why? Because it's not a good title. They are good titles. It's not a better, they are better titles. Eh? This title won't make people to come to you. There are those that will make people to run to, eh, eh, you are lost to one apart. Eh? We are lost, isn't it? Let us be proud of our salvation. Can you tell the person that is to be proud of your salvation? Be proud of what God has done in you. Be proud of the salvation that you have. Be proud of who you are. Be proud.
proud of what you are. Be proud of what you are doing. If we are now very guy count on you, Jimo, you are there just only to scrub each and every day, each and every. Be proud of scrubbing in the house of the Lord. If God has placed you, placed you so that you can wipe chairs each and every day, be proud of wiping those chairs. Why? Because every job and every work in God, they are all equal. They are what? Equal. If you are free thing and I'm shipping to God, we are the same. If I'm a bulldozer and you are a Mercedes Benz, to God, we are the same. The only thing that we have to check is are we moving in the right way? Are we doing it the way God wants us to do it? Are we receiving instructions from God Almighty? Are we doing things because God has told us to do them? Are we working because God has told us to go and wait wherever he wants us to go in Jesus name? John said I am the voice crying in the wilderness. I am not the way, I speak of the way. I am not the truth, I speak of the truth. I am not a prophet, I speak of the one that is coming. Because he's the one who is the prophet. Can you ask again, who are you? Are you getting your instructions for the Lord? Is he the one who is teaching you? Is he the one who is leading you? Is he the one who is directing you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They said, are you a prophet? He said, no. Are you Elijah? He said, no. Are you one of the biggest pastors? He said, no. So tell us who you are. And he said, I am the voice. Can you ask the person that is close to you? I want your Cuba voice. Don't you want to be a voice? Huh? Don't you want to be a voice? Hey. You know, being a voice is good, though. Do you know that? Being a voice is what? It's good though. You say things that you don't understand, you tell them. When you come, I tell you. You know what? You must make your way right because Jesus is coming back. If you don't make your way right, Jesus will come and find you being where you are right now. And let me tell you, if you don't do things according to the way of God, your life will never be right with God. If you don't walk according to his commandment and his statutes, your lives will never be right with God. If you don't do what God tells you to do, even though it's heavy or it's good, but you have to do it. Why? Because God wanted to be done that way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us read our last verse. John 14. I said we will go back to John 14. John 14. As the person that is close to you, are you in the right path? Are you getting instructions from God? Are you being led by him? Are you being directed by him? Let us just take our reading from verse 2. But the verse that I want us to look at more closely is verse 6. But for us to get the background of the issue, let us start in verse 2. Jesus said, is Jesus speaking? In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And he said, if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, 
there you may be also. And where I go, you know. And the way, you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going and how can we know the way when we don't know where you are going? Verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. Let's close our Bibles. Jesus came on earth to die for us. God instructed him to do what he was doing on earth. God instructed him to walk on earth as an example for us so that we can be able to follow and do what he was doing. And after that, when he left, God sent us a helper to help us. In other words, we have the initiator, Jesus, of this way. And we have the helper, the Holy Spirit, that the Father has given unto us. And we have God himself, the one who performs and directs and teaches and shows us how to do the things we are supposed to do. Now, where we have read, the Bible says, Jesus was seated with his disciples, with me and you. Huh? With who? Me and you. We are his disciples today. So when he was seated, he was explaining to them that I am going. I am going to prepare. Because my time of going has come so that I can go and prepare. Because in my father's house, there are many mansions. Though there are so many mansions, they need to be prepared for those who are coming. I get it? So now when I go, I will come back and take you one by one. So that you can come where I am. You can come and stay with me where I am. There was only one person amongst them, Judas. Where we you are going, we don't know. Even the way of going there, we do not know. Why? Because this guy was showing. What is happening here on earth? So now, even the way of going where you are going, we don't even know it. Show us this way so that when you go, we will be able to follow you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then Jesus answered them. Jesus is answering us today and saying, I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the life. And no one cometh to the Father except through me. In other words, if you are not aligning with what Jesus said, with what God has instructed, with what the Holy Spirit is saying, you are not part of him. You are not doing what he wants. We are not doing what he is saying. Why? Because there is no other way where we can use, that we can use of saying we are going to the Father except we use the way that is called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There are so many ways, let me tell you. Can you tell the person that is close to you? There are so many ways. But today I want to tell you about one stupid way. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This way, it does not need your mental capability. This way, 
It does not need your wisdom, your knowledge. Uh -uh. This way, it does not need your understanding. Oh. This way, it does not need who your parents are. Where are you coming from? Where have you been born? What kind of car are you driving? What kind of house are you staying in? What kind of, jo uh, uh, what kind of job are you doing? It does not need that this way. This way only needs people who are stupid enough to say, Lord, your will be done, not my will. This way needs only people who can go to God himself and say, God, keep a leg. I've tried. I've been defeated many times. I'm trying to run away from sin. I go back again, time and again. Father, I'm trying to let go of whatever I'm doing. I'm failing time and again. But now, let it be your will that is done upon me. I'm leaving everything to your hands. Jano. When you come to this way, which is called Jesus. When you come to this life, that is Jesus. When you come to this truth, that is Jesus. There is nothing and nothing that you will do on your own that will make you to be able to enter into the presence of Jesus. If you don't go through this way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you? But if they didn't come this way, uh, uh, they are not real. Right now we are crying for children of God that knows the truth. Of God himself. Jesus say I am the way. The truth and the life. The way is Jesus. The truth is Jesus. Life is Jesus. I live because he liveth. I die because he died. I will rise because he has risen. I trust in him fully. I trust in him fully. I don't trust in my own ability. I don't trust in my own understanding. I don't trust in the things that I have. I don't trust in the things that I'm having, I'm owning. I trust in him alone. And I believe he is the one who will lead me and take me to where I want to go. If you need to be healed one up apart today, Jesus is the way. If you need that job, Jesus is the way. If you need promotion, Jesus is the way. If you need that marriage, Jesus is the way. If you need money, let me tell you, Jesus is the way. He is the way. Finish clear. Yes, it might take time. Okay, nyaka ya sata ya sebonale. You pray the sata di sebonale. O silendre te yuma na papa. Trust in him and him alone. Lean not on your own understanding. Believe that he will do it for you. And when you start believing in that, he will start doing it for you. The things that will come out of you are the things that will amaze people. The things that will happen to you are the things that will amaze people. Why? Because it's not according to what you think and what you know. Yeah. We are leaning too much on our own knowledge and understanding. There is nothing that makes me happy apart from finding myself doing the will of God. I just love to be in his presence. I just love to worship him. I just love to bless him. I just love to shout for him. I just love to speak about him. I just love to speak about his goodness. Why? Because he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. The only way for me to find myself in heaven is through Christ Jesus and him alone. I was with somebody one day. He said to me, Mama, it's a mile. And I said to her also, it's a mile. She said to me, Mama, you don't understand what I'm talking about. I said, no, I do understand. You are telling me this disease you are having is, you have already traveled uh, half of South Africa, maybe. 
and nothing is happening. And I said to the lady, I said, I'm not going to help you because I don't have the means to help people. There is only one person who can help you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I can say things right now and say God is taking you from A to Z. But if Christ is not there in those words, nothing will happen. This is the only thing we are missing, Banaba Baba. If the root of our Christianity can be Christ himself, I'm telling you we are going somewhere. There is no obstacle that will come and block our way. There is no disease that will come and stop us from worshipping and praising him. There is no problem that will come in our life and will come and stop us. Why? Because Christ is in me. He is life. He is truth. He is everything, the way and everything that I want. That is why I will never let him go. Because I want God to make me an example so that you can see that he is alive. Can you ask the person that is close to you? Can you ask the person that is close to you? Huh? Can you ask the person that is close to you? Can you ask the person that is close to you? Why? Because we are not able to do this. Because we are not able to do this. This person is trusting in God, believing in God, trusting in what he can do, trusting in his possibilities, trusting in the things that he can do for him, trusting in the things that God can do for us because there are so many things that God wants to do for us. Huh? Do you know that? Do you know that there are so many things that are packed right now when I'm speaking? Our blessings are packed, prepared, and folded, and with, with the reps, gift reps, and, and everything. They're just ready to be offloaded and come down to us. The problem is how Sariki at Sena, Ntongweri, Wiela Mrao, Wiela Mrao. How Sariki Nyoko Diachona, Ntongweri, Tuela, Wena Watuela. How Sariki Nyoko Diachona, Wena Watuela. Why? Hanti Chufoto, Chao, Di Sechidili Haus. Can you tell the person that is close to you, heaven is fully packed. Heaven is fully packed. Eh? I go much happily hold him only day. He will pack it with wood day. God is waiting for somebody who says, "God, your will be done." I'm tired. Your will be done. I've been speaking, but your will be done. I've been talking, but your will be done. I've been saying things, but now your will be done. I want the will, the trust that God has placed in us to be visible on these people that we are living with. His mercy to be visible through us. His kindness to be visible through us. His likeness to be visible through us. The way he walks to be visible through us. Let's make it Bible. The Bible says, Ba Galilea, this, the, 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 what we call, Ba Neba Shala Jesumurao. Ba Kante, Neba Chava. They were afraid to join them. Why? Because they say, even in talking, they talked like him. Even in walking, they walked like him. That is why Chachilela, when they were searching for him to go and crucify him, they needed somebody who was close. Why? Because they were afraid to come on. He looked the same as them. He looked the same as them. He looked the same as them. So they search for somebody who's closer. Who can lead them to the right person. Because all these Christians of Charis look the same. Wouldn't it be wonderful? The Bible says they shared everything that they had one to another. There was nobody who was above anybody. There was nobody who was better than anybody. There was nobody who looked good than anybody. All of them looked good. They looked the same way. 
now it comes to us as children of god can you ask the person that is close to you do you think you are an example in this way do you think somebody can copy what you are doing ah ha ke le buti she do you think think somebody can come and start copying what you are doing not to be like you need to copy i want to do the way he's doing i love what that pastor is doing always is doing one to three i want to try and do it when you do it the person that is close to you will also say i want to try what that brother is doing why because what he is doing is good i want to try it and the other next person in other ways it means we will never lack christians in the house of god why because they will be trying to copy trying to copy trying to copy trying to be trying to be trying to be until they meet jesus christ of nazareth you don't know reina we are christians mm. blessed anointed going to heaven but there is nobody who wants to be like me hmm wa bona ma muruti a fita ke reke nka o fela di lokile di right mara ha tswela ka ntse yo yo eh ha tswela ka ntse inge mathata fela ke example ha ke me mona and there are a few people there and there and there in the church that are saying hey Hovana ka mo gwa bolelang monate ka hona o ka re even outside she can go and speak the way she's speaking right now it's like she can live the way she's living right now it's like she can do things the way she's doing them right now why because the person in church and the person outside of the church are not the same hallelujah hallelujah can we all stand up as the person that is close to you who is your way can you ask again who is your way and if jesus is your way are you following what he used to do are you doing what you used to do are you saying things the way he used to say them Are you doing things the way he used to do them? The Bible always say he will be filled with compassion. Do you have compassion? Do you feel pity for other people? Do you love other people? Do you love to help other people? Do you love to exercise what God has given unto you to other people? If God has given you this kind of grace are you able to share it with others are you able to show it to other people if God has redeemed you the way you are saying he redeemed you are you able to show it to other people so that they can know that God indeed is the one who has taken you out of the way of unrighteousness Can we raise our hands to the Lord? There are so many ways here on earth. Raise your hands. There are so many ways, many ways, many 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 ways on earth. Ways that we can take. There are ways of sangomas. Ways of false prophets. There are ways of prophets, there are ways of men. There are ways of religion. There are ways of the thinking of men. There are ways that has been started by men. But there is a way that we want that will take us to heaven. That will take us to where the Father is. And that way is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is the only way. When you are in this way there is only one 
who teaches you how to profit. If you want to go to the next level, he will teach you. If you want to be promoted, he will teach you. If you want to be healed, he will teach you. If you want to be lifted up, he will teach you. If you want your life to change, he will teach you. He's God himself, the creator of heaven and earth. But it only happens when you are in this way. The way of Christ, the way of truth. When we are in this way, we can never fail. When we are in this way, we can never fall. When we are in this way, we can never turn back nor go back. When we are in this way, we are always focused. Looking forward to what is coming again. Looking forward to what is going to do again. Because it is not I or us that are living, but himself living in us. He is the author. He is the finisher of our faith. He is the one who leads us each and every step of the way. When you feel like falling, call on him. When you feel dismayed, call on him. When you feel down, call on him. When you feel like you're going out of the way, call on him. Why? Because he is the only way to heaven. My God, we worship. Lift your hands to the Lord. I want you to search yourself deep inside. But if you say today, Lord, let your will be done. Let your will be done, Lord. Let your will be done in my life. I'm tired of thinking for myself. I'm tired of doing things for myself. I'm tired, Heavenly Father. I'm tired of living, leaning on my own understanding. I'm tired of leaning on my own wisdom. I'm tired of leaning on my brothers and sisters. I want to lean and trust in you. I want to believe more in you. If you are there and you are raising your hand, can you run coming to the front right now? Jesus wants to start a new person in you today. Jesus wants to do a new thing in your life today. Jesus wants to start something new in you today. He wants to change your life for the best. He wants to heal you of that disease. He wants to heal you of that pain that you are hearing. He wants to hear you, heal you of the affliction you are having. Some are going up, you start, just find yourself coming down. Some have, have got things that they can show, but you have nothing to show. But God wants to write a new thing about your life today. Jesus, the Lord of hosts. Oh, Jehovah. Can you raise your hands before the Lord? Oh, hallelujah. When you are quiet like this, say, Lord, in your heart, do something new in me today. Rakiala Soto Shite Alaka Sakalabashit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Are you tired of your situation? It's long when you've been in one place. Are you tired of that attack of the spirit? It's long you've been dwelling in one place. Are you tired of your disease? It's long you've been dwelling in one place. Jesus is the way of coming out. Jesus is the way of leading you to the Father. When Jesus is in you, the Father will be in you. And what will come out of you will be of the Spirit. What will come out of you will be that is born by the Spirit. Because Jesus is the one that will direct you. And God will be the one to lead you. So that you can have prophets. And receive many prophets and blessings. For he has loved you. Thank you Father. Thank you Jesus. 
Raise your hands before the Lord and say, Father, I come to you. I am a sinner. Take me back again to your holy way. I want to walk the walk of righteousness in spirit and truth. I want to follow you. I want to be an example. I want others to learn from me. I want others to see what I'll be doing. Because I'll be taught by you. And I will be led by you. And your spirit will be my guide. From today, Lord. I say to you, let your will be done. Not my will, Father. Not my knowledge, Lord. But your will upon me. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this time. Thank you for your hand upon me. Thank you for your mercy and your grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Lift your hands like that. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father. Thank you for this second chance that you have given to me and my sisters and my brothers that you have given unto us today. Thank you. Thank you for speaking with us today. We don't want to serve any foreign cause. We don't want to follow anyone else. But we want to follow you. We want to follow what you say. We want to follow what you do. We want to do as you command. We want to do as you say. From today, we throw away everything that we were doing in the dark. That we were doing when we are alone. That we were doing when nobody knows. We say, Lord, take them all away. Take them all away, Lord. Take them all away, Father. Take them all away, Jesus. We want to be your creatures again. Renew our mind. Renew our lives. Renew us with your word. And we will follow you. And we will do as you say. Father, thank you for your mercy. And thank you for your grace.